Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to add the Runcam Split 3 Nano FPV slash HD recording camera to the Happy Model Lava X, which is my current favorite toothpick style macro brushless quadcopter. Adding the Runcam Split 3 Nano is very simple. First of all, the camera unit fits perfectly inside the canopy since it's designed to accommodate nano sized FPV cameras. The more complicated part is to fit the camera board, and in order to do that, I think the easiest thing is to 3D print this part. I asked a friend of mine to design and print it for me, and I'm going to put a link down below to his Thingiverse account so you can check it out. This adapter is going to enable you to mount a 20x20mm board on top of a standard whoop sized 26x26mm board. And as you can see, the adapter is placed here and the Runcam Split 3 Nano board is placed on top of it. I highly recommend to place the Runcam Split 3 Nano board with the micro SD card slot facing the front so you'll be able to easily access it. And as you can see, the micro SD card slot is protected by this part of the canopy. So it's going to prevent the macro SD card from accidentally being ejected. So you can see now I'm removing it. And after putting the micro SD card back inside the micro SD card slot, it is safely protected. The weight of the Larva XHD is 59.2 grams, so now it is 8.6 grams heavier than before. The Mobula 7 HD is of course lighter, but I can tell you that these are totally different quadcopters and the Larva XHD is much more agile and also more durable than the Mobula 7 HD. In terms of performance, I think that the Larva X is still doing great after adding the Runcam Split 3 Nano camera. I used the same batteries that I tested the original Larva X with and I got close to 3 minutes using a 300mAh 3S LHB battery and close to 5 minutes using a 520mAh 2S LHB battery so the flight times weren't dramatically reduced. Since I'm pretty happy with the results of this upgrade, I talked to Happy Model and gave them my feedback. They told me that they are still debating whether to release an HD version of the Larva X or not and I would like to hear your thoughts. Are you interested in seeing this version coming out to the market as a button fly version? And if you are, please let me know down below and maybe we can make it happen. Now I'm going to show you the flight footage using both 2 and 3S Lipa batteries and as you're about to see, the flight footage is not 100% smooth and there is some jello but in my opinion, the overall performance and the quality of the footage are quite impressive. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.